there are actually a vast number of different rural enterprises. While the previous modules have gone over the major ones, those which individually contribute to a major part of Australia's rural production, there's almost an endless number of other rural enterprises which are productive use of rural land for some um, rural product, uh, usually food, sometimes building materials, sometimes clothing materials, uh, sometimes cosmetics, uh, things like essential oils and so on. Often these other rural land uses can have the capacity to be very intensely valuable, uh, largely because they use, say, high technology, um, or at least very intensive methods, say in the case of the poultry industry, um, or other more intensive approaches, say mushroom farming or aquaculture. Uh, some rely on uh, more um, valuable products, uh, especially in, say, as a racehorse breeder and so on. A number of them are fairly large scale. The uh, pig industry in Australia and the chicken industry, poultry industry, are two very large um, producers of meat. Um, chickens, there's more chickens bred for meat than any other animal and perhaps even all the other meat producing animals put together. Uh, however, they don't live long. In all of these cases, it's a matter of really understanding the individual industry. In the study guide, which is really the go-to for this unit, similar to most of the others, we briefly introduce the various major other industries. And that's not to say that we cover all of them. Uh, in fact, one of the most exciting things about work, working in the rural sector, rural land area, uh, is that uh, from time to time, new land uses come up that uh, suddenly everyone wants to get into and usually they make a lot of money for a while and then fall into some sort of relativity and you know over the years we've seen everything from avocado production, macadamias, tea tree oil and a number of others. Uh, for instance the poultry industry itself 50 or 60 years ago hardly had any presence in Australia at all uh, and now it's really one of the major um, meats uh, consumed in Australia. Because of the variety of um, land uses that are possible, especially in this topic, not really possible to go into them in very much depth. Um, we basically have um, uh, amassed an overall description uh, of the land uses that we're covering, given you some of the production statistics and so on. We have the advantage that if you find yourself going into uh, valuing any of these, um, the same basic rules apply. Um, certainly you need to know the industry and the best way to do that is to work under an experienced valuer in the area so that you get to know the industry. You, you really need in any valuation activity, and you would have seen this already, you, you need to be able to think the way that a potential purchaser would be thinking. And when we're looking at specialised property, that really means thinking the way that someone who understands that enterprise, whether it's a rural enterprise or a motel or something, uh, the way that that potential purchaser would be thinking. And so you really need to understand the industry, where it's going, where the markets are and so on. There are a number of standards, and especially in an age where we're becoming more and more conscious of uh, treating animals um, humanely, treating them well. Uh, the production standards have been a major issue. That's largely settled down, I think, in recent years. And so it's possible to find production standards, codes of conduct almost, uh, for raising everything from uh, chickens to giraffes, just about. Um, and it's worth going into those as well. Typically, the state agricultural departments or ABARA um, are uh, good sources for uh, that material. So I hope you enjoy reading through the study guide. Also, remember to continue 
reading uh, the um, Baxter and Cohen textbook. They're very, very important. And for those of you who are interested in particular industries or just those of you who are, who are interested, uh, go off into uh, some of the industry sources. Uh, almost every uh, land use which is listed in this module is represented by some industry group and typically they have uh, a lot of interesting and useful data available, uh, production uh, recommendations and so on, uh, and um, news about what's happening in the industry. So dipping the toe in the water to those is also very useful. Overall, the best experience is to be on the land and be around these different land uses. Once you've been exposed to one or two, you will tend to find that the methods tend to duplicate into other areas as well. And so it becomes a lot easier to extend your expertise, expertise past a particular narrow area.